my long walk is over. What's this about? People of Far Harbor, you know me. We have lived peacefully together for years. We have come to trust each other in our way. But I've betrayed that trust. And I've kept the truth from all of you. Early on, during Acadia's founding, I murdered one of your own. I replaced them with one of mine. What? Who? The identity of my agent must remain hidden. They are as much a victim in this as anyone. They will do you no further harm. I am the only one to blame. Don't you have anything to say in your defense? How does one justify murder? I wanted to prove that humanity and synth could coexist. That we did not have to fear each other. But I went too far. I see that now. I only ask that you judge me and not what we've built together. Allow the peace between Acadia and Far Harbor to last beyond this. Peace? You call murdering one of ours peace? I say we end this bastard and then burn his whole goddamn Acadia to the ground! Alan, enough. Demo will pay for his crime, but not Acadia. This path you want leads to murder. Cold-blooded murder. We leave them be. We'll never know if they're killing and replacing us one by one. No. We kill every last one of them just to be sure. Who's with me? Acadia is blameless. You have your criminal here. Judge him and him alone. You're not... even... You... God damn it. Alan always was a rabble-rouser. Makes him feel big and important. Don't listen to the mainlander. My brother knows what we've got to do. You going to listen to Alan's hate-mongering? You even remember who did the captain's dance? Mainlander cleared my farm. Avenged my family. More than the rest of you ever did for me. Alan's always looked out for us. The mainlander would choose trappers. Trappers over us. My uncle's safe and alive. The strangers always steered us right. Everyone said their piece. It's clear what we have to do. Out of the way, Captain. Alan, no! Those sins! Those murdering sins! I've been telling you for years we gotta do something. Well, time's up. We're doing it now. Grab a gun from my shop if you ain't got one. We're taking care of Acadia. Starting with that synth bastard! Leave my guys alone! Like this! <sighs> Better us get it than someone else. <laughs> Alan? You're here. When you first came ashore, I didn't know what to make of you. At first you seemed like some bleeding art kiss-ass to me. I know you had a chance to interfere with this. Try to stop us from doing what must be done. But you stayed out of it. We've had our differences, to be sure. But I'm proud to stand here. With you. Are we good then? To me. You're barely a mainlander. That work for you? I'm on your side, Alan. Good. Katie has been manipulating us for years. You ready to end this? 
What's the plan of attack? The way I figure it, we go in there and shoot everything until it's dead. With the weapons I provided and our numbers, they don't have much of a chance. This is nothing but murder. Stop it while you can. Too late for that. Shouldn't have let things get this far to begin with. Everyone! Attack! What the...? Let's do this. People of the Commonwealth. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It's true. But it's not the whole truth. We are here. And we are...
those people. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Never look a trapper in the eyes. There. Something else. Hey, Alan. This. This is good. This is right. You did your part in this. You regret it? Coming to this? Regret's a weakness. The island drums that out of you right quick. For your part in this. Here, we'll be heading back to Far Harbor. When we take... ...care of the children of Adam. Then all of this is over. And this island will go back to the way it's supposed to be. Alan? Acadia got what it had coming. Betty Hutton there with It's a Man. There are some recent rumblings from Good Neighbor. And I do mean that as something of a pun. Self-proclaimed legitimate businesswoman, Bobby no Nodos, has something of a reputation around the Commonwealth. That reputation may have contributed to recent talk of a transfer. The seventh bit of a twist. Bobby Is there's no trace of her in Good Neighbor. It's unclear at this time whether she actually pulled off the job she rumored to do that plot. Or, if something suggests, she crossed the wrong people and won't be seen anywhere again, ever. If you get my meaning. Wanoni Harris' grandma may have had a gambling problem, but we all win because of it. My kid. That was worth something. You're just going.
Wanna leave it? What? Who's there? Gonna splatter your brain! You go, huh? Gonna find you, gonna kill you. Thing does. You 
come see your old friend Travis Lonely Miles. As always. Next is Personality by Johnny Mercer. Really great porn licks on this one. And no, that's not me being suggestive. Sweet. Lots of those old pre-war relics still lying about.
then. Come on, her heart. Go, you. Rumblings from good neighbor. And I do mean that is something of a pun. Self-proclaimed. Bobby no dogs. And something of a reputation. That reputation may have contributed to recent talk of a last except that it's a bit of a twist. Bobby is very conspicuous. <laughs> Word is, there's no trace of her in Good Neighbor. It's unclear this time whether she actually pulled off the job she was but Or, if she crossed the wrong people and won't be seen anywhere again, ever. If you get my me. Here's Adam Bob Baby, by the five stop. about it. Excuse me. Was wondering when I'd get to meet our newest member. I'm Sister Mai. And rumor has it, you're the one who caught the attention of the Mother of the Fog. 
You happen to catch the Grand Zealot's, uh, loyalty test too? Loyalty test? Yeah. We saw Richter leading those two outside. Only one came back right around the time you showed. Figured you were probably witness to the whole thing. Yeah, I saw it. Mm. Look, it's a lesson worth learning now. Trust is a big deal in this family. Our members need to know how to steer clear of trouble. Just stay on the High Confessor's good side and you'll be alright. Now, there's something I can show you? And, uh, not sure if the glow bothers you, but I can help with scouring too. You mentioned scouring? What's that? Oh, right. Well, most of us here, the glow doesn't harm us. But Adam's picky about sharing his blessing. We keep some anti-rad meds on hand for those in need. Most folks around here, High Confessor included, consider it kind of a penitence. Scour oneself and embrace the glow anew. So, did you want to peruse the goods? I was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. Well, there is a project I'm kind of stuck on. I assume you saw the old rad decontamination arches on the way in. I've been trying to fix them for a while now, but I hit a snag. I need a pump regulator with some serious chemical shielding, industrial grade. And if any place on this island is going to have one, it's the Vimpop factory. The place is swarming with mutants, but if you're up for it, I can make it worth your while. You interested? Why fix the decontamination arches? Don't they get rid of radiation? Not the way I rigged them. I bypassed the filters, so once we get the regulator in place, we'll have a clean way to get a big dose of glow. So, you game to recover it for me? What kind of reward are we talking here? For you risking life and limb for my pet project? I've got an old radium rifle I've been tinkering with. You bring the regulator back? It's yours. All right. I'll track down the pump regulator for you. You will? Fantastic. I figure it'll probably be somewhere near the mixing room. Just watch yourself out there, all right? Now, was there anything else you needed? I'll bet Acadia regrets helping Far Harbor now, don't they? That was the ink spots with It's All Over But The Cry. Non-stop music and all the latest news. This is Dynasty Radio. Now we're going around a song about... Oh, 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 Someone there! Thank you. 
thought this would be easy, did you? This is where the magic is made. At least it was, before those brutes fouled it up. What? Who's there? I'm gonna slaughter Man, your face! Oh, you don't! Oh, 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 oh.
Far Harbor has sinned against Adam's children for the last time. My, you're back. Thanks again for being game to track down that pump regulator. Now, care to check the stock? Finally got that regulator from the Vim Pop Factory. You did? Oh, fantastic. So that regulator should slot right into the apparatus downstairs. My bypass to the filters should take care of the rest. Unless I mess something up. Those arches should start spraying all the irradiated water the children could ask for. I was thinking, since you did all the heavy lifting, you ought to be the one to christen the old girl. Plug in the final piece? You willing to do the honors? I risked a lot getting this thing for you. I think I've earned some caps. Suppose that's fair. I can swing, say, 150. Trust me, if you'd seen this place, you'd know that's not enough. Mutants, floor to ceiling. Wow, really? Okay, sure, 250. <laughs> I'm not sure you're grasping what I went through here. Have I described the smell to you yet? All right, all right, 350. But that's as high as I can go. So all you did was bypass the decontamination filters? Well, if you want to oversimplify the heck out of it, yeah. Pretty much. I had to hook up a little rig to support my fix. But so long as that keeps working, it should keep the rads coming. So you willing to finish the job? Could the bypass be reversed? Uh, sure. Theoretically, if my rigging failed, which is possible. There are going to be some wet, unhappy children of Adam, though, if that happens. But we're not going to know either way until that regulator's in place. Now, how about you take care of that missing piece? Sure, I can take care of that. Great. Pumps down in the bay. Shouldn't give you any trouble. And here, for what you've done. The triumph of Adam is inevitable. His fall cannot be halted. Some or all of you may have heard of that old Parsons Asylum to the north. You may raiders about that. You think that might be the place is an overflowing crater right now. But you're wrong. It's empty. Abandoned. Now you know they got what they wanted and bolted. But given how that place was, and you can't help but wonder if something else happened. We may not know for sure, but it wasn't just okay with me. Here's a classic from Danny Kaye. Blessings to the High Confessor, who will keep us safe on the path to division.
This life is but a brief interlude. Someday, we will all be other worlds. Excuse me, High Confessor? Adam's favored child graces my presence. Is there something I can do for you? The wind turbine powering Far Harbor's condensers, Dima built a kill switch into it. And I recovered the code to take it offline for good. Dima. I knew that machine was the key. Though I suppose this only further proves the sanctity of our goal. Even Far Harbor's so-called savior knew those beasts couldn't be trusted. So at long last, Adam has granted us, you, the chance to return what is rightfully ours. To restore the missing piece of Adam's kingdom once and for all. So tell me, are you prepared to do what must be done? I'm not sure. What's gonna happen to Far Harbor with the condensers gone? What should have happened long ago? Adam's holy fog will overrun the town. The island's beasts will no doubt follow suit. Far Harbor will be no more. Are you ready to make it so? We are among you. It's true. I am. Then I will not delay you any further. Go. Do what Adam put you on this earth to do. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your personal freedoms. Simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. Watch yourself out there. Many dangers in the fog. To do so would result in unnecessary difficulties for all parties. Rest easy. Know that the future is looking bright. And that mankind will thrive under our guidance.
finicky, folks. Consider steering clear of good neighbor, or else the shroud might come after you. for you. It's Bing Crosby with Accentuate the Positive. already.
Sandra? Stay away. You might be one of Dima's replacements, Mainlander. Hey, Doc. Now You're everyone. here for doctoring? Silence. Bright light. The rumors are true. It was a nuclear detonation. Children of Adam, that they're all dead. That time. <laughs> Alan, we had our differences, yes. But a lot of people died. Some, well, not all of them, deserve to be mourned. But others were friends and family that just came to believe differently than us. Brainwashed, you mean? This should be a solemn occasion, Alan. Please, a moment of silence. Thank you. Wiped out all the children of Adam. <laughs> These caps Get are for on, you. Island. And if you need I anything, take it. anything for my shop, you let me know. How's it going? Whatever. Mariner, you been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Can you tell me about the tannery? A man named Pauly used to camp there. Very handy fellow. Fog rolled in a year back, and he had to pull up his stake. He left the harbor recently, so everything that's there is fair salvage. I sold those tools to Machete Mike. That silver tongue devil. We had a deal. Well, it's good to know your worth. Leave. Hey there. What the hell is a sick thing? history of conflict, but if these stories are accurate, that conflict may be over for good. Diamond City Radio will make every effort to keep you updated. This is Travis Lonely Miles bringing you Johnny Mercer's personality. Something I only recently acquired, and I'm sure you're all aware. My daughter is human. She's not a sin. You're back. But Kasumi isn't with you? Mr. Nakano. I have bad news. Kasumi, she... She didn't make it. What? I heard you to find her. To bring her back safely. What happened? What did they do to my little girl? Do you really want to know, Kenji? God. Our Kasumi. Our little girl. It's everything I was afraid of. She died over all this nonsense about being a synth. Tell me it wasn't true. Tell me she was still my daughter. She 
She was a synth, Kenji. She replaced your real daughter. No. No, it isn't true. Oh, God. How long was I worried about that... that thing when the real Kasumi was already dead? Please, just leave. My wife and I need time alone. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Yeah. <laughs> 
no one investigates that signal until this place is secure. If I see anyone violate protocol and enter that transit station before we're set, I'll have your head. Now pick up the pace. I want to be able to... Report got back it. to Cyprus ASAP. You got a steady hand there. What? Jesus, shit. They're gonna die. What happened to you? Raiders. That's what. Those bastards have my family. You... You gotta help me. Please. Are you okay? Hell, I've seen better days. But it's my family I'm really worried about. Once those raiders realize I'm gone, I don't even want to think about what they'll do to them. God. You gotta help me. You look terrible. Tell me about it. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out they were raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Nuka World is still up and running? I remember that place. I wouldn't say it's still running. The place is run down, but those raiders sure got it made. Plenty of supplies, clean water, guns. Oh god. I never should have left. How did you manage to escape? There's not very many of them. Four, maybe? Five? And with the amount of jet they were doing to celebrate, it was easy. Picked the lock on the cage they had me in, but one of them came barreling in before I was able to free my wife and son. My wife, Lisa, told me to run, so I did. Now I just gotta hope it's not too late to save them. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. I'm offering you a way to heal yourself. Why pass that up? Damn it. Look, you got me. I ain't injured, okay? Just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm 
done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Why do you help them? Besides not wanting to die, I'm not the only one they got stuck under their thumb. If I don't pull through, their lives are at stake just like mine. I figure, what's some stranger's life compared to those people I know and care about? Let me help. I'll go face them. You don't have to die. Are you... you're serious? Just be warned. This ain't no walk in the park. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express. But I shut it down to help sell my story. It makes it more believable if I say I'm trying to keep the Raiders at bay. Find the control terminal in the office to power it back up. And once you're on your way, be careful. Stand clear of the doors. Por favor, mantengase a la hub. And on behalf of the Nuka-Cola Corporation, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you aboard the Nuka Express Monorail. For your own safety, please remain seated or utilize the provided handrail while the train is in motion. If you'll direct your attention to the right side of the monorail, you can observe Nuka World's famous Biz Top Mountain. Standing at over 100 meters tall, this top mountain is the largest man-made structure in Nuka World and features the five-star Biztop Grill. Coming up in the heart of Nuka World, Nuka Town, USA. Well, look who learned the truth and still showed up. I guess Harvey played his cards right after all. I only got a minute. So you better listen, and listen good. The name's Gage, Porter Gage. And our mutual friend, Harvey, only told you half the truth. You're still heading straight into a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. In case you haven't noticed, it looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet. <laughs> How about we move on? Hope you enjoyed that one. Warren Smith with Uranium Rock.
Now, folks, I'm sure you've all seen or heard about the latest issue of public occurrences. Some bold claims by our intrepid reporter. Since possibly living among us? Undetected? Very serious implications. Wouldn't you agree? The mayor's office has, of course, issued a statement denying the validity of the article, saying all is well done. And she's off! Let's hope our latest break and draw a little inspiration from our previous victims. Always sell what we can. Other sides chained up. The mayor himself insists that the fears raised in the article are unfounded. Oh, our new fiction knows how to dodge some bullets. Good thing that. Just to be on the safe side. Well, never a dull moment here at Diamond City Radio. I think we can all agree that it doesn't get any better than life in Diamond City. And I hope we got a store for her. Bob Crosby, Dear Hearts, and Jim. The mayor himself insists that the fears raised in the article are unfounded. Good to know, I guess. But between you and me, listeners, I'm gonna keep my eyes just... Oh! Our new big show knows how to die! Here at Diamond City Radio. This one's a longtime favorite of mine. It's Way Back Home by Bob Crosby. Got it.
sweet. Trouble we don't need. This bitch takes any longer, we're all gonna die of boredom. Yes. Someone thinks she's a real tough gal, eh? But the gauntlet ain't through with her yet.
sweet. That's it. Sweet. Non-stop music and all the latest news. This is Diamond City Radio. Feeling a little uncivilized? That's not such a bad thing, according to Danny Kane. Open something stalking. Time for things to get deep.
good explosion. Something else here. Crosby, hell of a positive guy.
breathe that fresh air in while you can. I thought you'd heard him. And here I was thinking this might be a gift. There are men being told about a very strange... God damn! Look who's in the whole stretch! Time for a audience for It's time for it. This. I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive, so listen up. What the hell is this place? You make it through this alive, I'll explain everything. You want me to listen? Tell me now. All right, all right. The gauntlet's the overboss's pet project. Lure in whoever we can, however we can. Like that guy Harvey and his poor family. Total bullshit, just to get you here. Does that little scam actually work on anyone? You'd be surprised. The bleeding hearts can't say no. And the greedy assholes out there can't resist the temptation of getting rich. That's it. I'm done helping people. Don't let it get to you. 
Harvey only did it because we threatened to kill and torture people he cares about if he doesn't. There was probably some truth in what he said. Besides, you help me, you help yourself. Are you ready to listen? And why should I trust you? I suppose that depends on how much you value your life. Yeah? And what's in it for you? This ain't just about what's in it for me. Both of us reap the rewards if you pull this off. All right, I'm listening. My kind of gal. Look. You made it this far. You obviously got skill. But this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it. Someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades... Not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? So, how do I beat him? You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Is this a squirt gun? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. Seriously? Is this some kind of joke? Nope. It's the perfect weapon. Once the water hits Coulter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Are you sure about this? Sure as shit. You just be ready to take him out when he's vulnerable. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side.
engage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Hey, we talked about this. She survived the garden. She was smart enough to take my advice, and strong enough to kill Coulter. She's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? Huh? She'll get respect when she earns respect. Amen. All right, all right. Now get the hell out of here. I'll show the boss around. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. So you really wanted the overboss dead? Dead? Out of the way? What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. Death by squirt gun. I'd love to see the message on his tombstone. Tell me about it. I wish I had a better look at his face when the suit shorted out. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast, but you need to listen. Taking out Colter wasn't just a last-minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place. Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There.
myself? Were you sleeping or were you not? Yes, I was sleeping, okay? It's what people do when they're exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep. Or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there. Alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um... I'll get back to work. That's better. There's machines here that used to spray trees with Nuka-Cola. What was wrong with those people? There's some bad jobs here. Cleaning up Pat's hideout is the worst. Ugh, that smell. Caught one of the traders stealing food. Yeah? What did you do to him? Turned him loose outside. This is so limited. This right. Some yeah, I thought about gone. trying my hand at the goddess. So now we're all supposed to follow him? <laughs> Waste of time one? now. She no one's stopping here. All I know is Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long time. Uh, lighting myself on fire an option? You haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have That last one died I too fast. Too. Like a right. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there. That was anything goes by cold quarters. If you haven't heard, folks, we're reporting now on what is very likely the Commonwealth's biggest story ever. Multiple sources confirm that the Brotherhood of Steel has fallen. I repeat, the Brotherhood of Steel has been defeated. Boston Airport is in ruins after the Brotherhood airship crashed directly into it. There are some reports of survivors, but it seems to have been a very bloody fight. While they have not officially taken credit, all evidence points to the Institute 